a very good morning class 11th and 12th the topic of the day is to find anti log and we are doing it for a negative number uh, there is a slight catch in it that is why it's a different video i have not included in the last video of anti log and log this is for a negative number and you do use it in uh, ph value finding mainly in the chapter of equilibrium class 11th you are watching the channel by seema makijani bless you all stay well do do well in life and keep liking and subscribing the channel now quickly moving to the steps when you have to find the value of a negative number the method is same as log as anti log is concerned when we talk about anti log it is the number before the decimal is the power of 10 as we did in the last class of anti log locate the part after the decimal in the anti log table and then report it in the standard form this part is exactly same as we do it for anti logs the difference is you would understand the part of difference only with the help of an example so let's begin with the first example i am finding the first example is to find the anti log of minus 7.6 now as you know if i do not tell you how to go about the negative number anti log and you do it directly what will your answer be you would report the answer saying that this goes as a power of 10 the part before the decimal is power of 10 so your answer is 10 to the power Minus seven. Now the problem is, what do you locate in tables? Now in the tables, you need to locate zero point six. What else? You can put a zero zero here. Six zero in zero. But the problem is, you can definitely locate point six zero in zero in your tables. Six zero in zero is three nine eight one. But better, this is a positive value. Your value is minus point six. and there is no provision in the anti log table to locate a negative number and that is the problem so you cannot locate this this is a negative number and there is no such provision in the tables which means what you need to do is you need to change this decimal part is to be made positive the before decimal part if it is negative we have no issues because it goes as a power of 10 but the part after the decimal is to be made positive now those of you who are good in maths can easily understand that minus 7.6 is equal to minus 8 plus 0.4 now if you are good in maths this your question is done i first do it this way this number we would now be writing it as minus 8 is like this 0.4 is your positive value so your answer will not be this if i need to find anti log of minus 8 and plus 0.4 what would happen is your answer would be 10 to the power minus 8 that's one thing you will not have it 10 to the power minus 7 minus 8 and now 0.40 is to be located in 0 from the tables of anti log assuming that there are zeros after the decimal you very well know that there's no issue about it coming to the tables 0.40 in 0 is 2512 so in the anti log table 0.40 in the zero column is 2512 so the value here is from the tables you get the value to be 2510 is your value and how do you report the answer directly take this value put it here as standard form 2.510 into 10 to the power minus 8 is your answer now those of you who are not that good in maths that is you cannot directly convert a minus 7.6 into minus 8 and plus ka 0.4 i would help you with the other way now for those of you who are not very comfortable with mathematics finding anti log of minus 7.6 please follow the rules you will do what you will add a minus 1 to this part of the number that is add minus 1 to the part before the decimal add minus 1 here and add a plus 1 here to the decimal part you add plus 1 to the part before the decimal you add minus 1 so minus 1 and minus 7 is minus 8 now what is here here in this part you have a plus ka 1 and you have a minus ka 0.6 i hope this part is clear so if you have a plus 1 
एंड माइनस का जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स दिस वैल्यू एक्चुअली बिकम्स अ पॉजिटिव जीरो पॉइंट फोर हेंस द मिशन अकम्पलिश्ड द नंबर बिफोर द डेसिमल इज नेगेटिव बट द नंबर आफ्टर द डेसिमल इज पॉजिटिव बिकॉज यू हैव टू टू लोकेट इट इन द एंटी लॉक टेबल द प्रोविजन इज नॉट फॉर द नेगेटिव नंबर सो योर नंबर बिकम्स माइनस का एट एंड यू हैव जीरो पॉइंट फोर विच इज अ पॉजिटिव वैल्यू दिस वुड नाउ बी रिटर्न एज एंटी लॉक टू बी फाउंड फॉर एट माइनस दिस इज नॉट द बार रेपिटेटिव बार दिस इज एट माइनस एंड पॉइंट फोर इज पॉजिटिव एंड यू कैन पुट एज मेनी जीरोज एज यू वॉट now the answer is this is your power of 10 while this is to be located in the anti lock table so let's check the tables 0.40 is to be located in 0 so this is the anti lock table you have to check your 4.40 on the extreme left and that's it this is 0.40 and locate it in 0 so it is 2512 0.40 in 0 is 2512 so your number here after locating is equal to 2512 and you have to directly report it here in standard form so 2.512 into 10 to the power 8 is the answer if you do it the step wise i repeat add minus 1 to the part before the decimal add plus 1 to the part after the decimal this will transform the decimal part into a positive value you require this because the tables do not have any provision to check for the negative numbers now the number before the decimal is the power of 10 that rest of it is same as anti log number before the decimal is the power of 10 and locate the part after the decimal in the anti log table and you have to report it in the standard form moving on to example number 2 anti log of minus -5.20 now this number i'll first do it by the method you take a minus 1 add it here you take a plus 1 add it here what do you get you get a minus 6 and plus 1 and minus ka point 2 will give you plus 0.8 as the value so your number becomes minus 6 and plus 8 which can you can put a zero behind it zero is the value in for which you have to find the anti log what have we accomplished the part of the decimal now has become positive that was the agenda now those of you who are good in maths can easily transform minus 5.20 into minus 6 and plus 0.80 if you can do that directly it is the same but otherwise you can use this indirect method of adding minus 1 and adding a plus 1 which is actually doing nothing but your number decimal part transforms into a positive value which is the requirement because anti log table has no provision to locate negative numbers so now anti log of this in the tables what do you have to check 0.80 in what in zero because that's the number and what happens to this this is in your answer directly you get your answer as 10 to the power minus 6 now let's locate the 0.80 in zero this is your anti log table in the anti log table check for 0.80 that's it in 0 6310.80 in 0 is 6310 is your value so you get here as 6310 is from the tables directly introduce it here to the answer but write it in the standard form so this is your answer for anti log of minus 5.2 the answer is 6.3 into 10 to the power minus 6 moving on to the next example anti log of minus 18.32 now the people who are good in maths can quickly transform it via mental maths into minus 19 and plus 0.68 but for the others what i would do is i would add a minus 1 to 18 and a plus 1 to minus 0.32 what do i end up here i end up in a minus 19 here Plus one and minus point three two. If you take plus one and minus point three two, you would end up in a positive value of point six eight. So your number actually transforms into minus nineteen and plus ka point six eight. And you have to find the anti log for this number. How do we go about it? No tensions. This part is the answer, and that is your power of ten. 
So, your power of 10 becomes 10 to the power minus 19. Now, what about this? This is to be located in the anti-log table. So, 0.68 located in 0 of the anti-log table. So, let us locate 0.68 in 0 is 4786. You can check it in your tables also. 0.68 in 0 is 4786. Had there been more digit, then you would go to the mean difference to get this value and add it to this. So, right now, since we do not have any more digits, so it is 0 0.68 in 0, 4786 is the value that you are getting from here. It is equal to 4786 is from the tables. Directly report it in the answer as 4.786 along with the power of 10 is your answer for anti-log of 18.2. Fine. Coming to the next example, let us take the number is you need to find out anti log of 25. Now, this value has a positive value and there is nothing beyond it, so you can put a 0, 0. Now, the part before the decimal in your answer is power of 10. Part after the decimal is to be located in the anti log table. As you can see, in the anti log table, your value for 0 0.00 is 1000. So, 0 0.00 comes out to be 1000 and you have to write it in standard form. So, your answer is this which also means anti-log of a whole number is equal to 10 to the power of the whole number which means as we just did anti-log of 25 is 10 to the power 25. Similarly, if you have to find out anti log of minus 40, in that case, again you have a 0, 0. Zeros are not a negative number or a positive number. So, the part before the decimal becomes the power of 10. The part after the decimal, which is 0 0.00, this is not a negative number, no. 0 is neither negative nor positive. So, you can be locating it this into the anti log tables as we just did. 0 0.00 in anti log tables is 1000, which is nothing but 1.00. So, this value is nothing but 1.0 into 10 to the power minus 40. As I just said, anti log of a negative of a whole number is 10 to the power whole number. Therefore, anti log of minus 40 is equal to 10 to the power minus 40. With this, I end the class of finding anti logs of negative number. I hope you would be now comfortable with the log anti log. Already I have uploaded the lecture on log anti log for a positive number and the anti log for a negative number. For your convenience and to make chemistry easier for you, please keep watching my channel for Seema Makijani. There are ample topics for you to refer to. Thanks a ton. Do well in life. Bless you loads.